Recent geological models from Iceland's meteorological office have raised concerns about the evolution of a magma dike beneath Iceland's surface, suggesting that it may be more expansive than initially believed. This broader dike implies a longer duration of potential volcanic threat. The office's report, issued on Sunday, highlighted an increase in seismic activity around a dike since midnight. This seismic swarm is indicative of rising pressure within the dike, increasing the probability of an eruption. Remarkably, within just one hour, about 170 small-scale earthquakes were recorded, with the most significant reaching a magnitude of 3. This flurry of seismic events points to a dynamic and potentially volatile situation underground. The period from November 10 until the previous week saw an intense seismic pattern, with daily counts of earthquakes ranging from 1500 to 1800. However, recent adverse weather conditions have somewhat hindered the accuracy and completeness of seismic data recording. The ongoing tectonic activity, characterized by the formation of cracks and fissures in the ground, has prompted precautionary measures, including the evacuation of Grindavik, a coastal fishing town located in proximity to the dike's trajectory. The magma intrusion itself presents a formidable geological feature. It is a vertically oriented sheet of molten rock, estimated to be around 9.3 miles or 15 kilometers in length. Its formation near Grindavik on the southwestern peninsula of Iceland's main island occurs in a region known to have weaker crust. Current assessments suggest that the magma is lurking at depths less than half a mile from the Earth's surface. The latest burst of earthquakes, primarily concentrated to the northeast of Grindavik, were measured at depths ranging from 1.8 to 3 miles or 2.9 to 4.8 kilometers along the dike, indicating the depth and spread of the volcanic activity. In parallel with these developments, there has been a notable ground deformation. A horizontal pool of magma has caused an uplift of about 1 inch in a region approximately 6 miles or 9.6 kilometers across. This phenomenon, which has been observed previously, was again reported by the Icelandic Met Office on November 23rd. They noted a strong connection between this ground uplift and the dike, suggesting that the volcanic reservoir is actively feeding the intrusion. If an eruption were to occur, experts currently believe it would most likely happen along the path of the dike. The Icelandic Met Office has pinpointed the middle section of the dike, situated between the Hagafell and Selingafell mountains near Grindavik, as the area with the highest likelihood of an eruption. They further added that the intrusion's greater width beneath the surface could mean a prolonged period before the magma within the dike solidifies, extending the duration of the volcanic risk. In response to these measures, the authorities in Iceland have undertaken significant preventative measures. They have constructed earth walls and developed conduits and canals around Grindavik and Svartsengi, a nearby geothermal power plant. These structures are designed to steer any potential lava flow away from inhabited areas and critical infrastructure in the event of an eruption. This proactive approach underscores the seriousness with which the Icelandic authorities are treating the potential volcanic threat posed by the evolving magma dike. We'll continue to keep a close eye on this and we'll be sure to update you, so be sure to click that bell icon to be notified of any release. And thanks for watching. Iceland, renowned for its extraordinary geothermal and volcanic activity, has recently faced an unprecedented seismic challenge. This Nordic island, hosting the largest number of active volcanic systems in Europe, was struck by an astounding 700 earthquakes on a single Sunday. These seismic events culminated in the strongest earthquake within a 48-hour window, detected near the now-deserted town of Grindavik on Monday morning. The Icelandic Meteorological Office issued a stark warning indicating a persistent likelihood of an imminent eruption. This heightened state of alert has been the reality for Iceland since a surge in seismic activity and subterranean lava movements began in the area surrounding the capital Reykjavik in late October. In a comprehensive update on its website, the Icelandic Meteorological Department noted the occurrence of approximately 300 earthquakes on Sunday alone. A particularly intense swarm of these earthquakes concentrated near Grindavik, lasting just over an hour before midnight. The data from November 26th painted an even more concerning picture, with about 700 earthquakes detected near the dike intrusion north of Grindavik, highlighting the volatile nature of the region's geology. Over the last two days, the strongest of these quakes was recorded at a magnitude of 2.7, a significant level of activity that has put the region's residents and authorities on high alert. The town of Grindavik, typically bustling with its local community and tourists attracted to its unique landscape, was transformed into a ghost town last month. The evacuation was prompted by an increased seismic activity that heightened the risk of a volcanic eruption. The emergence of large chasms throughout the cityscape served as a stark visual reminder of the powerful forces at play beneath the Earth's surface. A civil protection official conveyed the urgency and unpredictability of the situation. The official noted that the current weather conditions were exacerbating the already tense scenario, 
reducing the already limited warning time for potential evacuations, a situation they described as unprecedented. This sentiment was echoed by Andrea, a resident of Grindavik, who shared her personal turmoil. She described the situation as surreal and likened her experience to being in a dystopian movie, struggling to come to terms with the reality of her circumstances. In a demonstration of governmental concern and support, five ministers from the Icelandic parliament made a visit to Grindavik on Friday. During this visit, evacuated residents were granted the opportunity to return briefly to gather more of their personal belongings, a small but significant gesture amidst the ongoing crisis. However, the full return of Grindavik's residents to their homes remains a distant reality. Iceland's public safety director commented on the extensive damage to the town's infrastructure. He noted it would likely be months before residents could permanently move back to Grindavik. This prolonged displacement is a testament to the severity of the natural disaster and the extensive efforts required for recovery and rebuilding. Thanks for watching.